sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all shower me here with i am truly grateful and you all are super sweet so today we'll be talking something very important and it's actually a conversation christopher rufus right who was asked was united states that uh was it guilt of race decision and all that guess what he said it was not founded on racism that it is a total misunderstanding that of history and i am going to ask how is that a total misunderstanding of history because uh, all i know and like you know the history was all documented to this very moment we can pick up a book and some certain things that happened during the history, like, you know, during the selectorate and the rest of it. They are part of the history and they are well documented. So, and all you all founding fathers are already the sis. Is it not? Uh, don't you all know that? And he is lying. I mean, he is looking at the screen and lying about the whole thing. I don't know what they actually think. I don't know what they think black people are. Probably we don't know what is going on or we don't know how they are lying around or we don't actually know our history. Because as long as I like, the history is something that cannot be erased. It is part of somebody's foundation or it is somebody's foundation. And he said that America is where everybody gets their rights and all that. And the other one was like, but it is not the same for a black person and the rest of it. And he is still, he is looking in the screen, like looking at us and telling us that it is not true. This shows really how far they can go. I mean, they can go any length to cover up all the atrocities they have done and all that because they do not want to accept it. Instead, go to the screen. I'm just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. And I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up, let's go to it. The United States was not founded on racism. I think that that is a total misunderstanding of history. Well, how many founding fathers were black? Oh, so you think uh, you're well, how, how many um, how many people in the Chinese Politburo are, are European? I mean, it's like uh, the, the representation well, fact. There's look, not look, a hold big on. class of European slaves in China. But if there was, it would be a racist state. That's that's true. But look, if you say, what was the United States founded on? It's a very specific question, and I'll answer the question for you. The United States was founded on a vision of human nature, of natural rights, of equality and liberty. That excluded black people. And of course, uh, was there also simultaneous slavery? Yes. Is that, uh, is that um, hypocritical? Uh, looking backwards, of course it is. But these are all people who were born into that system that was a human universal. Wasn't it a human? Black people didn't think they were unequal. The United States was not founded on racism. I if I was a white person who was related to other white people that committed atrocities and then also set me up for life that way, I will never have to struggle the way anyone else in the country has to struggle. I would also lie out my ass. I would also lie out my ass. Because why would I want you to know that my people were eating people, buying people, people, stealing people's families, and disconnecting them forever? Why would I want people to know that and then think, oh my God, that all of my people are the same? Why would I want them to think my people are savages like they called everybody else? I too would lie my ass. But I'm not white. The United States was not founded on racism. I think that that is a total misunderstanding of history. Like, I just want to say this. The imaginary concept mindset of some 8 by 5 by 11 individuals feeling that America wasn't born through racism is like believing that a rock could float on water. It just doesn't. The math isn't mathing. Okay, I'm just going to say this. America was born in racism, point blank period. That is the history. That is facts. There's no way of running from it. 
The problem at the end of the day is that the real issue is you don't want to admit that it was birth out of racism because then you will have to admit culpability and also as well give some signs of retribution to the people that you've done wrong for multiple generations, generations, generations. Let's just leave that as that, okay? The imaginary mindset of believing or thinking that America at one point didn't even see black people as a full person. They were one-fifth. Cattle was more important than a black person at one instance in this country, okay? They were inhumane things going on towards black people that was so bad that Hitler, the man that everybody says is evil, took from Americans to do to another smaller minority. So when when the, when you try to conceptualize these thought process and jump through these hula hoops that you know you can't jump through because there's no real way of getting there, you like to always ignore the facts. The facts are this. America is racist. America's founding fathers are racist. George Washington was wearing black people's teeth. Okay? You guys have done every single thing to try to erase black people off of the face of the United States. And we will never leave. As long as that flag has red on it, black people will be here. The United States was not founded on racism. I think that that is a total misunderstanding of history. Well, how many founding fathers were black? Oh, so you think uh, you're re- well, how, how many um, how many people in the Chinese Politburo are, are European? I mean, it's like uh, the, the representation well, fact. There's look, not look, a big on. class of European slaves in China. But if there was, it would be a racist state. That's, that's true. But look, if you say, what was the United States founded on? It's a very specific question, and I'll answer the question for you. The United States was founded on a vision of human nature, of natural rights, of equality and liberty. That excluded black people. And of course, uh, was there also simultaneous slavery? Yes. Is that, uh, is that um, hypocritical? Uh, looking backwards, of course it is. But So if you don't know by now, I really do not like Christopher Rufo. The man is not only a white nationalist, a racist bigot, and a liar, but he has managed to take the idea of critical race theory, the study of critical race theory, and turn it toxic. And he knew that people were dumb enough to believe what he said. Like, he literally tweeted out on March 25th of 2021 that he is going to push the idea of critical race theory being something that it wasn't. He said people won't read Derrick Bell, but when the, their kid is labeled as an oppressor in first grade, that's now critical race theory. He literally said this and people believed him because he knew they would not read. And then he decided to associate all of these terms with critical race theory, knowing that people will not read and research for themselves. And because the average American adult reads on a sixth grade level, he was able to do exactly what he said he would do. And the tweets are still up because he knows that no matter what people say, what they can do to prove that what he's saying is utter bullshit, there's a ton of idiots who will not read for themselves and say, this is wrong, this is propaganda, this is indoctrination. Founding fathers were black. Oh, so you think uh, you're right? Re- well, how, how many? Um, how many? Please go watch all of these videos. They're hilarious, bro. Say, I wait, I, 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 we, I. <laughs> but not recognizing slavery is crazy. This, but these are all people who were born into that system. That was a human universal. Slavery in the United States was it okay? Because people back then thought it was no. Also, John Brown exists. Also, black people. The United States was not founded on racism, I think. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you positive about this? Because there might be millions of evidence to prove this otherwise. 
Aren't the critical race theorists correct that the founding fathers were racist hypocrites? They did more to move the human civilization toward liberty and equality than anyone else. And so to, to, to reverse impose that they were racist, uh, to take our conceptions of that term, it, it's, so, it's so lazy. It's, but it's true. It's, no, it's fact. That's a fact. It's so, it's so, uh, it's so untruthful. Um, Come on, and, and, and you it's, don't you don't believe that Thomas Jefferson was a racist? It's not. It's not true. Yeah, it, it, it's such a lazy reduction. Do, do you think that you? But uh, do you want me to quote him? No, I think that's a totally unfair way to looking at it. I think that you have to look at it in the, the context of their own historical period. You have to look at them in the context of their own historical period, and I would say that Thomas Jefferson did more for equality, except for black people. Do you think Lincoln is racist? Let's just get that out of the way first. I think Lincoln had prejudices, but you know, Frederick Douglass was a big admirer of Lincoln. Lincoln was, you know, a person who had who was prejudices. I don't think that we need. To, I don't think we need yeah. the authority of Frederick Douglass to recognize that Lincoln, uh, in, to, to adopt some of the terms you might like, was an anti-racist president. I mean, Lincoln did more for racial equality than just about anyone. And I don't need to, I don't need to, to, to delegate and I don't need to delegate the authority to, to Frederick Douglass, although it's helpful as a, as a the point. convenient way to duck the question about the Frederick Douglass. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Let, let me finish. So what did Lincoln say? Lincoln said that Jefferson set the silver frame of, of the Declaration of Independence for the golden apple of racial equality. But he was also a racist. And so so and so so and so so Lincoln who I think has a much better understanding of these issues uh, intellectually, but also just just in his own human experience, that what he went through and what he did, recognized that Jefferson was a tragic figure because of the because of his racism necessities of history that that hemmed him in that hemmed him in uh, at the time. Not hemmed in. Nothing stopped him releasing his slaves. But that he that he that he that he put that he put the silver frame that he silver put, frame. put the that right. he set the st highest standard. Yes. So it sounds very nice. That allowed then Lincoln. That allowed then Lincoln to achieve uh, the next step uh, uh, in the process towards that golden apple. And so, well, I mean, you know, he could have achieved it himself if he hadn't enslaved people. So I think to go back and say, "Oh, they're all racist," it's just, it's just so lazy. And I think that it. But it's true. It's just a fact. It's not lazy. It's just a true fact. And I think it, you know. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you what I really think it is. I think it comes from a sense of our own inferiority as modern people, um, oh, does it? especially on the left. It's very easy to tear down a statue of Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and to say, oh, these people were bad. But if we're actually truthful, I think it's because those people make a lot of these left wing activists feel so small, so insignificant and so underwhelming. I think it's a sense of inferiority. They revolt against the great figures. I would say people are genuinely upset by slavery. Who did more for racial equality than, than these BLM activists will ever do. <laughs> Who did more for racial equality? Abraham Lincoln or Black Lives Matter? You tell me. I, I would agree that I don't think Black Lives Matter has achieved its political goals. No, no, but, but answer the question. Who did more for racial equality, Abraham Lincoln or Black Lives Matter? The consequences of the, of, of free, of, of the Emancipation Proclamation are pretty much unparalleled in United States history. So and you would fact, agree with me that Abraham Lincoln did more United for racial States equality President? than BLM? The greatest it's United a yes States no President? Question. I'd probably say Lincoln and Roosevelt. You know, again... I think that all of this is an effort to not acknowledge the plain fact that this country was founded by people who held black people in chains and thought they were inferior. I, I acknowledge that. That's a fact. That's a historical fact. I, I, I don't see what, how, how anyone would deny that. But you said they weren't racist, and now you say it's a historical fact. No, no, you, you made two different claims. One is claimed that they, that they, they had chattel slavery, and, and some of the founding fathers, uh, many owned slaves. Yes, that's obviously evil. That's abominable. And they um, thought black people were inferior. But to say that they're racist is a different claim because you're taking a, 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 an, an ideological term and then back it, imposing it on them in order to discredit, in order to discredit their work uh, advancing equality. And so I think that I reject it in, in a linguistic frame while acknowledging the factual basis that there was slavery. The blacks are inferior to the whites in the endowments of both body and mind. That's Jefferson. They're not racist? Yeah, I think that that's, a, I, I disagree with that statement. I mean, I don't know what you want to say. I want you to say it's racist. 
I want you to say, I want you to tell the truth. Um, but but saying okay, we're going to cherry pick one 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 sentence. Oh, I, I want you to tell the truth about this man. Oh, here's a question for you. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back on you. Do you think Jefferson? Do you think Jefferson held slaves and it's abominable? And I of course reject it. But do you think Jefferson um, advanced the cause of racial equality or did not advance the cause of racial no. equality? No, I don't think he advanced the cause of racial equality. I don't think that at all. Uh, Frederick Douglass would disagree with you, and I thought you've delegated your your your, your moral intuitions to Douglass. Douglass said Jefferson. D Douglass was was a uh, was quite a fan. Martin Luther King was also quite a fan. Um, I don't think Jefferson advanced the cause of racial equality. I think he could have if he'd freed his slaves, but he didn't. In fact, he you know uh, entered into a very questionable sexual. This is relationship absolutely before. interesting to watch, and oh my goodness, Christopher, I see why Rufo, right? That's his name. Mm -mm. It's a no no. I mean, with everything he is, sometimes I say that these people are actually unbelievable, and they are. I mean, anyway, why are they lying about everything that happened that got to do with slavery? Why are they lying? Why are they trying to cover up the founding fathers? I mean, they, it's obvious that they are all racists. Why is somebody trying to, I mean, hide all this, trying to cover up? Oh, yo, I forgot that if they're trying to accept like they are rich, this is, they are also going to accept the fact that what they did to Mary Turner, how they uh, are like a bit, uh, bit with children, and like how they, like the Wall Street, the Rosewoods, and the rest of it. Like, yeah. So if they accept that they are, it means that they are going to accept that or they did all of this, that they are the real savages, that they hunted black people, that they lay and shamed black people, that they actually um, sent out postcards each time they want to lay and shame somebody. And they do it straight up from church to where they want to do it and back to the church. Yeah. Because if they accept all this, they are going to accept that they did all this. That a pregnant woman, they tore her stomach, stomach and did what they did to her and her baby and then burn her alive. They are going to accept all of this. They are going to also accept that each time they burn down black community and they try to rise again, they go out again to burn it down. They are also going to accept how they use their women to lean and chin a black man. Yeah. So they're also going to believe, uh, like I said, that they did all this. So they, they are all running away from saying that they did all this. I mean, like, you know, history wasn't all bad. It wasn't like we think. It's not what we think. We are over as a majority. Why it is all written. It's all documented. And somebody's always gonna come out and say black people is this black people are that we new people are the ones that are this and that he is trying to cover up their founding fathers like all the evils they did all the evils they did yeah he doesn't want to say they are way to desist you see these reparations you all are running away from. Eventually, you all like uh, you got. You still gonna pay? Yeah, you don't even know how you're gonna pay, but you all are gonna pay. And it really sucks how they c come out to speak. Like I don't know what they actually call black people. I don't know what they think. Like you know, black people are. I just don't get it. And the fact that they go around teaching this to some of them, and what is that some of them do not even have the mental capability to pick up a book and read. Some don't even know history, but then they come on TikTok to argue, or you see them somewhere on YouTube trying to argue what they don't know. I think before you want, to, before you want to fight me, like you know, uh, when it comes to intellectual acts, first of all, you make research. But no. Because they are also showing how right to the sins, like how they are also their ancestors. When they always want to say, I am not my ancestors. Shut the hell up. You are. Because everything they did, you all are still doing it. Right? I said it. Anyways, this is where I'm going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for all the support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.